Hello chess lovers, I would like to show you one of the recent games played by the women's 6th world chess champion Nona Gopindashvili. The game was played at women's senior chess championship 2017 and her opponent is Aria Solvega Abulina. Currently Gaprindashvili is 76 year old. Gaprindashvili started with d4 and knight f6 by Abolina, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4, black goes for Nimzo Indian defense, bishop d2, c5, d5, d6, f3, black castles, e4 and not a good move by black e5, a better move is capturing on d5 and after c takes d5 play, knight h5 preparing f5. But we see e5 in the game which gives white a slight edge, knight e2, h6, knight g3, bishop d7, bishop d3, a6, a4 preventing any possible counterplay on the queen side, a5, white castles, knight a6, h3, controlling the g4 square and now white is preparing f4. This position is very easy to play with the white pieces, knight c7, f4, knight h7, and after f takes e5, d takes e5, white has a very strong passed pawn on d5. Knight f5, bishop takes f5, rook takes f5, queen d6, queen g4, the queen is also joining the attack, rook a6, this rook is coming to defend black king from the 6th rank. Queen g3, putting pressure on e5. Rook e8, now comes the other rook, rook f1, eyeing on f7. Rook e7, bishop e2, this bishop is also joining the attack. Queen g6, queen h4, of course white is not going to exchange the queens. Now the rook on e7 is hanging. Queen d7 and rook f3. White had another strong move, you can pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Ready? Actually instead of playing rook f3, Gauprindashvili missed this strong bishop h5 move. And if g6 then white can go for bishop takes h6. If g takes h5 then rook g5 check and if knight takes g5 then queen takes g5 followed by queen takes e7, this is just catastrophic for black. Let's go back, but after queen d6 we see rook f3, white is bringing the rook to g3 square to attack black king. Queen d7, rook g3 and a bad move by black rook g6. A better move was playing g5, though this is weakening the king side. But instead we see rook g6, which allows Gaprindashvili to go for a beautiful tactical shot. You can pause the video and try to find her next move. Ready? In this position Gaprindashvili played rook takes f7. Black captured on f7 and now comes rook takes g6. The thing is that now black can't capture on g6 because of this bishop h5 checkmate. After rook takes g6 we see bishop takes c3, bishop takes c3, knight f6. Already black can capture because the h7 square is opened up. Rook g3 and overlooking white's next threat black actually blundered and played king g8. Well, black could prolong the game by playing knight e8, though uh, again white has a huge advantage, for example white can capture on a5, this is again winning for white. But after king g8, black missed that the pawn on g7 is pinned and Gopindashvili simply captured on f6 and black resigned. Your comments and questions please, I hope that you liked this video. Good luck.